It's such a beautiful little river and it's so wonderful to have it this close to orange and when you're on it feel so remote because you see very few homes and um, it it's, feels like you're out in the wilderness. It is the water supply for the town of, of Gordonsville and Orange. Um, the water is removed from the Rapidan River right up here at the Spicer's Mill Dam and then uh, brought back out to the water treatment plant. Um, it's cleaned and, and put back into the river and when it comes back into the river it's very very clean. It's been great. I've always um, hung out on the river since I was real young and this was a great opportunity to um, study it and see if it was a healthy river or see if it needed work and um, get tr clean it up, get this trash out of there. So it was a great experience. Stream Sweepers is a very unique project. It's a service that landowners pay to have done on their river frontage. Um, it's, it's not just a cleanup. Cleanups are usually volunteer activities and, and they're wonderful. This is, this is a full evaluation of their river frontage, um, their, their property as it relates to the river. The students, they're actually high school and college students that have been employed to, do, to, to provide this service to the landowners. Um, they have been trained in the protocol of assessing not just the river, but the whole environment of the river. We have floated this entire 17 mile section of the river that we're going to be working on, and they have taken measurements at various spots along the river of the amount of tree cover over the river, which influences the temperature of the water, the amount of vegetation on the banks, the amount of uh, the degree of erosion that occurs in some of these areas, and the width of the river, the composition of the river bed, whether it's sandy and silty or whether it's cobbled and clear. It's a, it's a full assessment of the river and the land that bounds the river. I would say for the most part it is healthy. There's good tree cover. Um, we do have a fair amount of silt and erosion but that's kind of the, the, the nature of a small river in Virginia that's a very flashy river that you know, the river levels go up and down very um, often because of the amount of um, drainage you get from tributaries that come into it from a very wide area. But for the most part, it is a healthy, a healthy river. I mean, uh, ranking it, we can tell certain landowners uh, if their area is good or if they need more vegetation, you know, um, add buffers to their land. There were a lot of spots where there were undercut banks and no trees growing, no bushes. I mean, these people, we can tell uh, that they need to plant things and work on their area. There is no government money. This is completely private and it is a paid for service as, as a, a landscaping service would be if it were done on the land. This is done on the river, but it's the same type of thing. We hired these students and they are working hard. This is not an easy job to do. You know, this is a muddy, sweaty, dirty job. And they are actually enjoying it. I mean, the tra that trash was my favorite thing, just cleaning it up. I was so surprised yesterday at how much we got. It was probably a whole truckload of stuff. And I, I mean, floating through it the first time when we were ranking it, I had no idea there was that much. So that's probably just what I've been surprised about and like the most. It's just, it's a beautiful little river and we're really, I'm very excited about the bald eagles that are back on the river. Um, growing up here in Orange, we, we never saw bald eagles. So it's, it's pretty exciting to have, you know, a nest just a couple of miles down the river.